Do I have the cutest little stack of baby clothes right here? I was able to find so many good things at Once Upon a Child for this new baby that I am so excited to share it with you. It's not a huge haul. I am very minimal when it comes to my baby stuff. Honestly, I don't like too much stuff, but I thought I would share a little thrift haul with you guys. It is storming outside right now if you can hear it i'm sorry i thought it would be really fun to share and you guys said you wanted to see the clothes that i thrifted for baby we do not know the gender of the baby we will not be finding out so we're doing the surprise gender thing which we've done for all of our kids and that has been really fun the third time for baby number three and there's something just so exciting about not knowing the baby's gender when they come out and you find out in that moment it's literally it's better than Christmas. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Um, but I know a lot of people can't do that and wait because they just wanna be prepared. How I become prepared for not knowing the gender of my babies, I just buy neutral stuff and later on start adding a little more boy and a little more girl stuff and just go from there. I have a boy and a girl, so we have one of each already so we have a lot of clothes to pass down to this baby however i did need to go out and buy some stuff because i gave away a whole bunch of my baby stuff a week before finding out i was pregnant so with that being said i needed some things as well as a whole bunch of my kids baby clothes for some reason ended up with this yellowish weird residue stain on it that i just couldn't get out of my out of their clothes so I ended up just tossing a whole bunch of them, which was really sad. I don't even know what that residue was, but it was weird. It didn't smell bad or anything, it was just weird. Um, so yeah, that leads us to here and shopping at Once Upon a Child. If you don't know what Once Upon a Child is, it is a thrift store for little kids. If you have one in your area, I highly suggest to go once upon a child and they have so many new clothes for babies and kids there i've been shopping there for years for my kids and it's just a good way to thrift and find really good deals on baby clothes and kid clothes you can also sell your clothes back to them i've done that many times they're not going to give you like a ton of money probably but they have to be in really good condition almost new for them to take it because you know moms don't want super beat up clothes for their kids right i totally get that but yeah you can um they buy clothes off of moms which is really cool let's just get into the little haul i like to keep things pretty simple I really just wanted a lot of sleepers and onesies and stuff like that. Mainly concerned about zero to three months. I have a few three to six months, but I just wanted to get through the first few months. And then, you know, depending on boy or girl, I might add some more feminine, like florally items or I don't know, whatever boyish items we'll see. It'll still probably be very neutral. But I'm not really worried so much about the further months. I'm just going to wait until the baby comes to buy more things. And I have some upstairs from the kids that were not stained. So this is what we're starting with. <laughs> okay, so the first thing, I'm not going to go really in any order. I found this really cute knit. Oh my gosh, look at how cute it is. Really cute little knit sweater and this is zero to three months now you really don't need a ton of outfits for babies you just need the basics so honestly a sweater isn't even super necessary but you know they can wear it over like a little footy pajama or whatever because my babies just are basically in pajamas for the first like six months to almost a year i don't do too much dressing up but i'll throw like a bonnet on and a cute sweater this was 646 oh and this is actually newborn no wonder why it's so small so this is newborn really cute the baby will be born in spring so it will start to heat up i don't love the little ears on it but i mean i really do like the sweater so that's okay we'll just ignore the ears but very cute love that love love that and then I found another really cute knit outfit. I was so excited about this. This one is six to nine months. And it's from Modern Moments. 
and this was $5.54 and I also found matching pants so I'm very excited I love babies and knits I think it's so 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 adorable in this nice navy nice navy color and it has the matching pants but I think the pants I had to pay for yeah the pants I had to pay for separately but they're by the same these were $4.44 which is such a weird price but okay the little pants are so cute so I love this little set was super excited to find that a really good basic and then I got some what some little footies because that is necessary I highly recommend footies I like the buttons I know a lot of parents don't like the buttons a lot of moms say they don't but I love the little classic buttons this is a footie by kite baby so they're like the bamboo material this was ten dollars at once upon a child so kind of pricey but I know kite baby recently had like some scandal go on with the owner not treating one of the workers right um but i bought this stuff even before that so and it's second hand so i didn't directly support them or anything but they're a small shop but i hear like all kinds of dramas going on with them I mean, right now but i know people rave and rave about their sleepers and pajamas so i know that happened but I bought it before that and again not directly supporting them but uh, the material is really nice though and I also found this is my favorite piece one of my favorite ones besides the knit sweaters that I found is this waffle knit zipper footie and it has like the little these are really essential too so they don't scratch themselves I love when they have the little hand things and it is a zipper one so that's easy this one's zero to three months and this was also ten dollars which is again a little pricey but it's by the brand bella berry so i think that's a small shop but oh, it's so nice you guys look at that it's just a beautiful waffle knit basic and it came with a little knit hat where it came with a little waffle knit hat and and it came with a headband so boy or girl i'm not a huge headband mama i was with nola but honestly i don't know if i will be this time but it's an option there's a headband and there's a hat so that's a perfect option to bring to the hospital if you don't know what you're having because you have a hat and a bow so very excited for that I am currently 32 weeks pregnant. I don't even know if I said that in the beginning, but we are getting close. So baby prepping is about to commence and we're about to get everything all ready. And I just, uh, it just feels so surreal looking at these little people clothes. Here's another zipper onesie and this one's by Carter's. This one was 450, zero to three months. It's just like a little stripey one, beige and white stripes and it's a footie these are really good basics i just love the basics footies and little like t-shirt onesies that's usually what i always go with so here's some t-shirt like onesies and it's just a nice beige and white gingham and here's i think another hold on noah uh, it looks like uh, um this is in, in the drawing crew. oh it is you did a good job See? It's in the oh, don't spell those. The oh, cool, good job. Can you go put that on the table for me? Good job. Okay, I got this really good basic. They were having a sale where you buy 10, 10 t shirt onesies and it was ten dollars. So if you bought 10, then they were each a dollar. If not, I think they're 150, so you would save some. I don't even think I got 10 though, which I probably should have, but yeah, just a basic. This one's by Gap Baby and it's zero to three months. Really good. Full basic. And then I found this one. I love this one. This one's by TJ Maxx, but I think it's by a small shop. And it's a nice blue gray kind of color. I love it. And it has like wooden. It has these faux wooden buttons in the back. It's six to nine months and it's by the brand Rabbit and Bear. I've never heard of them before, but I believe it's a small shop and they're organic, organic cotton. So you cannot beat that. So but yes, a really good basic and we love a good organic 
onesie or anything organic really for children's clothing is my favorite another cute little find that was in the onesie department it does have a little bow up here but honestly i don't even care i can I, it's not a big deal boy or girl it doesn't even matter but it's this nice sagey green and white and i think this was 150 as well zero to three months so we do a lot of these in the beginning because they're just easy easy for diaper changes and then i found a matching like swaddle blanket that goes with that so i thought that was really cute i'm really into gingham i'm really into greens and beiges so i don't do a ton of pants usually for my babies because i find them kind of irritating to take on and off but you know if we're running to the store or something and you just want to put something on them really quickly but we're not going to be leaving the house we're not going to be leaving the house a ton anyways but i got a few pants just as an option these are newborn zero to three months 250 i thought these were cute they're just little beige and black stripes they're so little like i just cannot it's just been a such a long time since i've had a baby like my youngest is four so it just feels like it's been a long time oh and then here's another basic that i didn't even show you guys i think this is also by kite baby and this is 12 to 18 months but i mean no matter what we will be using that it's just a good basic and i think this was how much ten dollars 850 so that was kind of pricey but it's that stretchy bamboo material that feels really good so i got that and it's just like a nice beigey color and then I got this. I could not pass this up. <laughs> I'm usually not into graphics, but I just thought this was so cute. So, so cute. Like little veggies. There's an avocado, a tomato, broccoli, carrot, sweet peas. I just, oh, this is so cute. And this was $150 as well. And this is by Carter's. I just thought this was adorable. Like, how could you not think this is so cute? And I love the colors. The colors are really pretty very unisex and then i also these are by easy peasy and i got these cute little shorts for summer since the baby's gonna be born in spring going into summer i thought like one of these onesies and you know a pair of shorts for the pool or something like that because we do have a pool right we do have a pool where we live i don't know what that situation will be looking like probably gonna be too hot to be sitting out by the pool because it gets really hot here in california in the summertime but i thought a few little shorts would be good and essential for the summer and the last short that i got is also by easy peasy which is a walmart organic brand which i love to see look at how cute these are they're so little so cute and there's their little logo right there they're pretty affordable too and these are zero to three months and i believe those shorts might even be six to nine months but they look oh these are six months but baby still will probably be wearing those this summer even though it won't be exactly six months it's hard to gauge baby clothes because you just never know if they're actually going to fit at that age or not depending on how fast your baby grows so it's good to get a few different sizes in everything so it's good to get a few different sizes because you just never know and then i found this car seat cover I, this is a good deal this was three in one cover and this was 550 and it's just a basic brown beige color good for boy or a girl and it's just one of those nursing covers slash um nursing covers slash like car seat covers i am not a huge fan of nursing covers um in public i just kind of like use my clothes to cover myself up as best as i can but i wouldn't want something like a blanket over my head if i was nursing so i don't do it to my babies i just i really don't care if any anybody has anything to say about me nursing my baby in public well then <laughs> i'll have something to say back okay like i am not worried about being overexposed in public while i'm trying to nurse like i'm just trying to feed my baby 
but anyways i do like a car seat cover and i don't know what happened to the one we used to have so grab that for only five dollars i was about to buy one that was like thirty dollars online so i am so glad that i just found a basic bamboo feeling one that i can use on the infant car seat and you guys i think that is it is that it yep so these are all the clothes that i thrifted so those are the clothes that I'm starting out with for zero to three months and a few six to nine months. We even had like a what, 12 to 18 month in there. So that's good. But I'll buy a few more things as I see fit. I don't need too many clothes. I feel like babies just don't need that much. Um, if you guys want to see more videos on what I'm buying for baby number three, maybe even what I'm not buying because there's a ton of that. I feel like I've done one of those videos in the past years ago though. Just let me know. I have a pregnancy update that I want to film for you guys because I haven't talked much about it on here. But this pregnancy has been a wild ride. So much it feels like has happened. But we are almost close to the end. So baby prepping and nesting and stuff will start soon. I already feel it coming on. But yeah, let me know if you guys want like a what's in my hospital bag video. I'm willing to do that I don't know exactly yeah just let me know let me know what you guys want to see as far as pregnancy stuff goes because we are close to the end so yeah let me know if you guys are pregnant along with me and on this journey because I know some of you guys are let me know how it's going down in the comments are you having a boy or a girl I would love to know and I will see you guys in the next one bye Oh, there is a little bump shot for you guys. It is becoming so surreal that I'm going to be holding a little baby in just like two months. Insane. So.